Simon Redding. I work for Mortiers near Woodbridge, right on the Suffolk coast. I've been here since 2012. Um, the farm is roughly 4,000 acres, grown a variety of crops, including uh, winter and spring cereals, AD rye, potatoes, onions, sugar beet, leeks, carrots, parsnips, turnips, swedes, cabbages, and this year we've got a trial of sweet potatoes and uh, butternut squash as well, just to make it interesting. So we've got a um, Challenger 6555, the new D model with the latest cab. Um, that's a 5,000 litre tank, 24 metre boom. So the, I have a second sprayman who helps me out at peak times. Um, this will be his third season now. Um, he's fitting into it quite well. Um, I teach him most of what I know, uh, which is never ending. I'm always learning myself. Uh, on my old sprayer, we broke hell of a lot of mirrors on the hedges around here. The lanes are very narrow. Um, and with these mirrors, they're a lot more expensive, being heated and electric. So uh, I was talking to our farm fitter in the workshop and he got some, uh, I measured the mirrors and we got some stainless plates made up. And um, that's just a simple hydraulic hose clamp clamping the the uh, plate to the mirror just to protect the mirror um, I haven't broken a mirror yet so they're obviously doing their job okay. I've made a, uh, a bit of a pipe with uh, nozzle bodies and I put all my spare nozzles on the nozzle bodies uh, and when I get a block nozzle I just change it over rather than having to take a nozzle off and clean it in the field just a quick turn around swap the nozzle when I get back to the yard clean it back at the yard here and that's just uh, mounted behind the cab there um, nice and easy nice and simple I don't have to faff around opening a box to get me nozzles out or anything like that so got the airline when I do get back here and clean them out just whip the block nozzle off and blow it through with the airline here while I'm filling up nice and quick simple Okay, another one of my top tips is the separate water tank I have with a submersible pump. Um, I actually got the idea from when I worked with a contractor, um, f filling a 500 litre wash tank on this machine out off the hose is quite a, quite a slow job, so to speed things up I uh, use a submersible pump and that 500 litres just takes a few minutes while I'm filling and the amount of times I'll wash out a day that has been invaluable just to speed things up and make the job easier and it, it also gives me a bit of peace of mind that that is a separate tank from my main filling tank so if any chemical got back into the my main filling tank my wash tank will always be clean um, I don't measure my day on how many acres I spray just measure it on how happy I go home when I do go home so <laughs> that's what I'm worried about really people pay good money to come on holiday here and I work here and it, it's such a beautiful place to work and live that we need to look after it. And you're supplying people's food and yeah, top job. I think mean, we all we all deserve a pat on the back, not just me, but <laughs>